Well, good morning. Uh, today we want to build off of our momentum from last night. We want to build off of um, what we had an opportunity to um, be a part of with our students and, and challenge them to dig in more and to root into our student ministry. I, I read through all the journals last night and um, lots of good feedback. Uh, themes for the first question of do you find value here was absolutely yes and uh, it was crazy to see the two things they find the most value in the first was um, leaving with knowing more about the word and more about Jesus and the gospel which is encouraging because we spend so much time in those two elements, uh, teaching and worship and putting those together and how do we mesh those with creative prayer, or engaging uh, moments throughout the night and we want to continue growing in that. So that's exciting that students uh, are coming for that purpose. And then of course the second one was small groups and, and community and getting to hang out with friends and get to know other Christians. and so. Uh, the crazy part is, is uh, for all except one of the 31 students there last night at least, which is over half that represents our student ministry, um, games were only mentioned once. And so, though I think there's value there because it builds community and I don't think students connect that as much, it's, it's good to know that where we put the, the bulk of our time um, and energy is is why students value coming on Wednesday nights. And in the middle of a crazy schedule for students and families, it, it's encouraging to know that they find value in something um, long-term, eternal, uh, something that brings life change. And so that's encouraging. Uh, second question, the overall kind of theme was, uh, what was lacking in our student ministry was kind of came down to two or three things. Uh, community, and, and that was why we addressed last night. So some of the very things that we addressed came up uh, in that question. Uh, we had a few that uh, wanted more, like to go deeper and, and in the Word. And so though I don't think Wednesday night is the time for that, it, it is um, something that you know, in two or three years of looking down the road and semesters down the road of having things like a, a early morning men's group or an early morning girls uh, uh, ladies group uh, that meets and kind of dives into some, some deeper things for students who want to go deeper. That's really what our student leadership program is for right now. That's only for juniors and seniors. Do we expand that? Do we have a middle school one, a high school one, and allow students who do want to really go deeper an opportunity to do that. Uh, those groups normally aren't large, but there are students who get to a place where they really um, they want to know hermeneutics and they want to know uh, systematic theology and they really want to dive into things. And so we've we've dreamed of things like that, and, and things are kind of in my head that come down on paper and kind of thought through. But I'm not sure we're there yet. I think we're we're pushing um, towards the issue of community and, and building our small groups and foundation that way right now um, and then the other thing that uh, came up and in, in lacking on Wednesday nights was um, the um, so, some of the worship pieces um, you know more music uh, more engaging music um, some of those pieces and, and and that's why we've brought Lee in that's why um, we're continuing to look at our worship band and go, how do we how do we bring excellence to this? Still allow students to be a part. How can we put some more foundational pieces like um, uh, Lee and it was Amber. If you didn't know, Amber kind of had to move out. Just a, just not a good season for her to be a part as much as she needs to be uh, to make that work. And so, you know, is who else can we put there to help that happen? Uh, somebody, uh, Josh and I, have been talking about somebody on the sound booth and really helping us back there. Um, and so, you know, those pieces are, are pieces we're right in the middle of and going, we know this is a piece that needs to grow. And, and, and uh, Lee is growing and he's, he's, he's uh, walking through mentorship things with Josh and, and um, 
so those are all exciting things. Those are things that we know. So nothing took us off, you know, by surprise, which was great. Um, and then the third question was, are you contributing? And uh, I would say at least 75% of the entries were uh, no, um, because um, A, uh, I, I, um, and this is hard for maybe you as a small group leader to hear, but I'm just going to give you the three things. A, I don't feel like my small group leader really cares about me. B, uh, judgment, um, that I feel like I'm going to be judged because I know too many people in my group or I don't know enough people in my group. And then C is I'm, I'm quiet and shy. And so those were kind of the three big reasons 75% of our students are not contributing in small groups, which is, that's, that's what we talked about. I mean, that's what is keeping connection from happening. So just sitting in a group and listening to your leader ask questions and talk isn't going to make connection just because we have a group. And so um, it's encouraging to hear that after these questions, you shared those in your small groups. And I heard from all except, well, I heard from all small groups that it was rich, a rich time of just being raw with one another. Um, and so kind of to close out this session, I want to do two things. First, I wanted to remind you about next Sunday night. I've put it in the email. I'm going to send out just a specific text as well. But next Sunday night, I need all small group leaders there. This is our one time a semester that we gather. Um, and it's twofold. One, we're going to sit around table. We're going to eat together. And we're going to just rip apart the student ministry. Uh, this is the one time where I really get to, not just on personal phone calls every other week, but at one setting, at one table, um, I get to bring you into the brainstorming, into the process of where are we moving from here. Because right after this meeting, at the end of March, early April, I go on my own retreat and I plan the next year's student ministry. And then for lunch the next day, we have interns um, who come up and we have lunch and we plan and then we implement so we're ready to present that at the Flubber Never for parents. And so... That, that piece is important. I need, I need you there. Um, even if you're 10 minutes late, uh, I need you there. Um, this is the one time I'm asking that we gather together. I don't put a lot of emphasis on you being at the Met right now. I put emphasis on you being here. So please, 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 please be there next Sunday night, February 28th. Um, and I think we've said from 6 to 8. If that time's wrong, I'll correct it in the text, but it's 6 to 8 next Sunday night. So half of it's brainstorming and eating together and talking and, and, and just letting you be involved in, in, in the process of where we're heading. The second part is prayer and worship. And we're going to plead on behalf of our student ministry. Um, we're going to call out students by name. We're going to pray for specific things going on in the life of our student ministry we're going to be on our knees together. We're going to take communion together. We're going to worship together. I need, I need you there. Um, I, I'm really asking you uh, for two hours uh, once a semester to gather outside of um, the, the things we do throughout a week, which is why we do the videos, is why we do the, the biweekly phone calls so that we're not having to meet up more often. Because I know life's crazy. So next Sunday night, February 28th from 6 to 8 in the student room. Um, if you could make that, um, I, I, I'm asking you to be there. Um, the second thing I wanted to do is just encourage you with these three things. Um, uh, I just wanted to read this to you. Thousands of years ago, Aristotle spoke of three key questions that a communicator must answer to be most effective. And here they are, ethos, pathos, and logos, 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 sorry. <laughs> the first is the ethical side of you. Uh, it's the question of this, are you trustworthy? Um, when, when, when students in your small group are with you, do they know that you're trustworthy? Have you began to show them that they can trust you? Because in our responses last night, that is a process that some of you need to continue walking because some of them are doubting that. So how can you implement ways to show that you um, are trustworthy? The second one, pathos, is do you care about me? So not just are you trustworthy, but do you actually care? Are you just here 
to be my small group leader because you're on the student leadership team. And so a lot of that's going to go past a Wednesday night. Do you truly care about me um, is going to say, I don't want to just know that you're my leader. I want to know that you know who I am and that you remember things about me. So if I tell you that I had a big, I have a big state tennis tournament and you never text me after my tennis tournament to ask me how it went. And then the next Wednesday, you want me to share about my personal life. I don't really, you might be trustworthy, but I don't really know that you care because you forgot about something really big in my life. And so that's the care part. And, and, and that's the part I struggle with, just so you know, um, is remembering that when students come specifically up to me, ones that I have relationships with and are asking me about something or to be at something, they'll remember if I'm there or not. And then finally, do you know what you're talking about? And so this is the element that says, um, I don't want to just know that you care. I want to know that you can speak into my life and you know about my culture. You know about um, what school I go to. You know about what uh, us as students struggle with and speaking into that. Um, and so that's the counseling part, not just the friend and caring part, but the counseling part. And so each one of you are in different areas, but I would continue to encourage you to grow in those areas. And we're going to talk about those three things more uh, next Sunday night. So remember, next Sunday night, from 6 to 8, brainstorming for an hour with food, and then prayer, worship, communion together for the second hour. So let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for last night. I thank you for our small group leaders. I thank you for our student ministry. I pray you would continue to work. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Spirit, we pray.